2004 on an 04 Toyota MR2, 1.8 litre petrol, 5 speed manual in red with a black manual soft top. Bodywork wise, we'll start the bonnet with our way around into this MR2, onto the interior, and then we'll go for a engine start. So, the bonnet itself it's nice and straight, but we have got some lack of people that have been red, that's fairly common, and we have got some sort of, I think it's been painted at some point, and there's a bit of quite a bit of texture to the lacquer across the bonnet and some more like a few up the right hand side headlights are crack free could do with a little bit of a polish but they are crack free bumper corners all nice and straight across the bumper there no big scuffs or scrapes nice and snug to the wings but it is flat on the paint side of things i think it needs a good old polish that bumper to bring some shine back to it a little bit faded with it being red around the driver's front wheel arch no dings or dents no corrosion coming through but again we've got this bubbling under the paint there it's just moisture, it's sort of like osmosis. If it was fiberglass, that's what it would be, but obviously it's not. I see no corrosion coming through around the wing. Coming down the driver's door again, nice and straight down the driver's door. A few little stone chips here and there. We've got some lack appeal to the handle on the driver's door. And again, lack appeal to the wing mirror, which is crack free on both sides, but there is lack appeal to that there. Across the lower half of the sill section is also nice and red. No nasty black stone guards lying halfway up the car, or anything silly like that. Around that right hand side rear arch, you'll see we'll have got a scrape on the rear arch itself, right hand side, which has gone back to bare metal, starting a little bit of surface rust. But apart from that, the rest of the quarter seems to be okay. Again, slight bubbling throughout the whole paint, really. And just see it underneath the camera, that's on the driver's door and on the quarter, on the whole car, really. You can see it's sort of bubbling. Tiny, tiny little bubbles all the way over the lacquer. And this is what happens when the head comes off and it's sort of pinged back to the primer. Again, okay on the bumper corner there, right hand side, we are lights are all okay. Across the back bumper again, some light appeal. Across the back bumper, it's going to want some paint with this one, but it's priced accordingly, if you ask me. Nice and cheap, this one. And again, some light appeal across the bootleg engine cover and the back bumper. Down the left hand side rear arch, again, no corrosion coming through, but we've got a few heavy scratches there on the left hand side rear arch, and again, another scuff on the bumper corner itself. Around the fuel for the caps, all okay. And again, we've got this see it in all the paintwork there down the rear quarter and down the left hand side passenger door is all good apart from lack appeal to the handle again and again we've got lack appeal to the wing mirror cap on both sides there you can see that down onto that left hand side front wing you can see it's flat on the paint side of things exactly the same as the bumper very very flat on the paint side of things the roof itself is all okay nice and taut across the roof a little bit of a nick there but looks to be okay Glass back window, so you don't have any problems with those splitting. But a little bit of a split in the corner here on the left hand side, and again, there, a couple of little marks across the top there. Interior, driver's door card's nice and tidy there. Aftermarket, that's something to do with the stereo, I've seen those before. Aftermarket tweeters or something like that, or something going on. They are connected up to the tweeters there, so you can see that there. Door card's all good. The seat itself's got a bit of wear at the lower half, but no major rips or tears. There's a bit of a bit of wear to the piping on that right hand side lower half. Rest of the seats all nice and clean and tidy. Across the steering wheel are all good, no real wear there, no cracks across the dashboard, nice and tidy, and all nice and standard down the centre console, all original down there, which is nice and clean. Inside the roof's all good as well, doesn't smell damp in there or mouldy. We'll go around the left hand side, and James will come open this. Uh, engine compartment there for us which is also the boot left hand side front door card nice and tidy again matte compartment to clean that's all in here is how you open the front compartment as well nice and tidy up the seat on the left hand side with no rips or tears there at all into the front compartment again nice and tidy in there not a lot of space for your shopping uh, but you've got a bit of space in the front compartment there. Uh, so there you have it. You can get James to fire this into life for us here. Uh, I say it's a 1.8 VVTI there, petrol. It helps if you have the key. Five-speed manual as well. No hesitation. No complaints the way that starts. Ticking over nice and happy there. No nastiness on the exhaust either. And there you have it, the 2004 on an 04 Toyota MR2, 1.8 litre VVTI, that one in red with the black roof and black interior.